Hi, good morning. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been off of YouTube for a moment. I had, you know, I lost my mother. And I don't know more so if it was grieving, but God brought a lot of things to my eyes that I didn't really realize growing up with my mother why things turn out the way they did and I have to give it to my mother because she was very strong but she was hurting a lot from her childhood and I didn't realize that until she passed away because there was a lot of things missing in our lives growing up. My mother tried to be the best mother she could from what God brought to my eyes. But you, let me see how I'll say this. My mother didn't get love from her parents. So that's why I speak on that a lot. Um, because <clears throat> if you don't give your kids love, if you don't show them love and affection and attention, quite naturally, they're going to go out and seek it somewhere else. Whether it be the streets, drugs, men, women, however you want to try and find it, you're going to go looking. And it can turn out good, bad, in between. So that's why I speak on it a lot because it was missing. It was missing in my mother. And when it's a generational curse, it just keeps going and going and going. And it never ends. So that's why I'm giving you <clears throat> my opinion just my opinion, but it's my opinion and my my life, what I went through and how I feel and what I experienced. She loved, she loved her gang members. And I don't know how many times I'm gonna stress this. I don't care what negative people would you say about the gang members. I really don't care. Because <clears throat> you're not in my shoes. You weren't in my mother's shoes. And neither are you in any of those gang members' shoes if you're not a gang member. So you don't know. But I'm telling you. They love each other. They take care of each other. They um, are there when you. they need each other. It's just like a whole big family. What you're not getting at home, they're going to give it to you. I don't care what it is in a positive way. They're going to give it to you. So don't keep pushing the narrative that they are bad people. They're not bad people. What my mother gave them is what she was looking for from her parents. So if she loved them, she was showing them love she was telling them things that she didn't tell us her own kids because she didn't know like she was much younger back then I'm 58 years old so my mother started real early having kids and she didn't know and God brought it to my eyes full circle because I was I was upset I was hurting I was angry I didn't know what love was I I um, I still probably don't know. You know what I mean? I made a lot of bad choices. Not in drugs, not in streets. I never did no drugs. I don't smoke weed, never tried no weed, never did any of that. I don't party, I don't do any of that. My choices were in making bad choices in men. I did have my father, but you know, that goes back to me saying if you don't show your kids attention and love and 
affection, they're going to go out looking for it somewhere else. He took care of me financially and all that good stuff. He spent time with me, but there was no nurturing. There was no telling me how a man should, should treat you. There was no anything about that. So um, I've been on my own for a very long time. Um, mm, high school, maybe. I don't have any kids. God didn't send me in that line. So, you know, that hurts as well. Like, I was a good person. I was a good kid. I was all those things. But if that's not your calling, your calling is some something else. Like, you know, raising your family's kids. It's like, you know, I gave up my life to raise my sister's kids. It was a very hard thing, especially when it's family. It's like, you know, <laughs> it's very hard. It's not an easy thing to do, um, especially when there's generational curses. I think things are, a lot of things are genetic. I don't think kids just grow up to be something bad. I think that a lot of it is already in them. But just love your kids. Show them you love them. Show them that you care. Um, if they need counseling, get them counseling. At least in your mind and in your head and in your heart, you try to do the best that you could with your kids. And if however they turn out, at least in the back of your head and in your heart, you can say, I did everything I could to raise my kids the right way. So, I just want to let you guys know I miss you guys and love your kids. Give them attention. Praise them when they need to be praised. Punish them when they need to be punished. And let them know why you're punishing them. Have a great day.